Hi everybody, welcome to the channel and thank you so much for coming by today. Today I have a trend mood box, so let's get in here and see which trend mood I have. I saw this box and really could not decide whether to choose it or not. But I took as a sign that I should get it that over the course of the last few weeks, I've been talking about it getting colder and winterier and in the winter, my skin gets drier. And I have had several people ask me about if there was anything that I used for my dry sensitive skin that was more budget friendly. And unfortunately, I just really don't. So I thought, you know what? I need to rectify that. And then as if it were just meant to be, this trend mood box came out. And let me open it up and show you. This is what the inside looks like. And it always has the scan me on it. And you can take your phone or your iPad, whatever you want, your tablet, and boop, and it will tell you all of the information about all of these products. But we've got the little trend mood sticker. Oh, it's stuck really well. <clears throat> all right. And then well wrapped in plastic. And it is the new Elf, I think, Holy Hydration. I don't have my glasses on yet holy hydration line and since it's elf it's going to be reasonably priced so we'll open these up today i'm going to swatch them we'll smell them we'll see what our initial thoughts are on it and then i will try these and i will let you guys know because i would love to find a brand that i could with confidence say to you guys you know what i do know a budget brand all right you know it's time to get serious because i'm digging out my glasses we have a little card in here that says new Holy Hydration Skin Care. We want you to be one of the first to try our newly launched new Holy Hydration products. And we have the new Holy Hydration Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm, the Daily Cleanser, the Face Cream, the Keep Your Balance Toner, and the Booster Drops. So we'll look into those. And it says, discover the rest of the amazing lineup with 20% off skincare orders over $30, code ELF skincare and that is good until december 31st so if this sounds like something that you want to try and you go to the elf site use elf skincare i will put it below just in case and it will get you 20 percent off a 30 dollars or more order i have laid these out in front of me in the order that i would use them in if i were going to clean my face so first off we have the elf holy hydration makeup melting cleansing balm with hyaluronic acid, ceramides, and peptides. I think these all have the hyaluronic acid. I think that's what makes them so good. But that is what the box looks like. Oh, we have a little paddle. I love that with cleansing balms. It's very nicely done. And the tub is two ounces. And that is what that looks like. Let's go ahead and open this up. Actually, let me get out my little paddle so I don't have to put my finger in there. I like cleansing balms. If I use a cleansing balm, it does, even with my dry skin, I like it to be just the first step and a two-step cleanse, just cleansing balm and then moving on with my life doesn't work for me. I like a cleaner, which I shouldn't with dry skin. I shouldn't go for, uh, 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 uh. but I just like, I just like that feeling more than just the cleansing balm. All right, we will just scrape right across the top of it came out, I hope you can see that, it came out easy peasy. It's a really soft balm, so that's nice. And that is what it looks like. I'll put it on the back of my hand. Oh yeah, it just melts right away. It's just melting in right away. Ooh, and it feels just like a cleansing balm. It feels really nice. It gets a little wetter than some of the oils. I like that. You know, some of them still feel very oily. This feels kind of, I hope this makes sense, liquidy oily, not like, coconut oil. You know that thick, like if you put coconut oil on your skin it for, in the hard form and then you smear it out, it still stays oily and almost tacky. This feels like, like right now, it feels almost like, let me see if I can show you. Perfect example. I will gather it all up. Actually, I'll just show it on my finger. It just made it wet. See how it wants to run down my finger? I personally, I like that. That is so cool. Feels really nice. It has a slight floral scent smells really pretty and it's light. If you are offended by fragrance in your skincare or you don't like florals, this does have a nice light floral scent. It actually smells quite nice. So let's wipe that off because that would have been step one. Let's see how it wipes off. I just took a Beekman cleansing wipe and I'm just gonna wipe it off very lightly. All right. Oh, it feels nice. It didn't leave it greasy at all. It just feels really nice. Let's see what the box says. No parabens, no sulfates, no phthalates. It is cruelty-free and vegan. Watch your makeup melt away. 
a two-in-one makeup remover and face cleanser that instantly melts away your makeup while removing impurities and cleansing the skin. Its solid balm form melts into a luxurious oil and turns into a nourishing milk that rinses off clean. I tend to agree with that. It did feel like a milk in the end, like when I showed you guys. Formulated with skin-loving ingredients, hyaluronic acid, ceramides, and peptides. And by the way, before I ordered this box, I read it and I can use it all, which also goes to what they've put in it. Okay, that is cleanse number one. And after having started this, making the statement, I would never use a balm without doing a second cleanse. I have to tell you, I might try this without a second cleanse because I feel like I feel clean enough, not leftover oily. I like it. But if we wanted to do a second cleanse, we have Holy Hydration Daily Cleanser, or you could use this one in the morning. This one for when you're taking your makeup off, this in the morning. And it's a gel-based soft foaming cleanser that helps wash away excess oil, impurities, and makeup. This hydrating cleanser contains skin-loving ingredients, and then it says the same thing the other one did. No parabens, sulfates, thou. So moving forward, we'll assume that it all has skin-loving ingredients like hyaluronic acids and ceramides, and that it is parabens, sulfate, and phthalate-free, and cruelty-free and vegan. All right, well, I got the lid off. Oh, it has that exact same scent. So the scent is in all of it, and it's just like I said, it smells kind of like a really light floral, but there is absolutely a scent. And just for the record, I'll show you guys. If you can see right where my finger is, see this whole list of ingredients? See where I'm pointing? That's where the fragrance is. So it is up pretty high if you don't care for fragrances. All right, we'll just put a couple drops of this. Boop. Oh, see, it had a little bit of string to it. So it is just like a cleanser. Boop -a -doop -a -doop. I got a little bit, I hope that shows. I got a little bit of a white lather out of it, even without water. And it does, it smells very clean, but it does have that light floral. I like it. All right, let's wipe that off. I am really excited to try this on my face. I hope it works really well. I would love to be able to report back to you guys with a budget brand that I liked. All right. Oh, and I meant to give you the prices. We have the Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm. It is $10, right? The Holy Hydration Daily Cleanser, it is 3.71 ounces. So it's not a huge cleanser, but I'm telling you, those two drops that I had, if you, especially if you were following the balm more than enough, $6, I know. Next we have the Keep Your Balance Toner and it has hyaluronic acid, aloe, and witch hazel. It is five fluid ounces and it has an $8 value. Oops, and it was seals. <laughs> Go ahead and take those off, even though I just muscled my way through them. All right. This is just, oh, yep, just liquid water. Well, I mean, not water. I don't smell the same scent in it. It doesn't have that same floral scent. This just smells kind of clean, like you would expect a toner to. Probably the witch hazily, that kind of light astringent smell. But I'm sure it's not too astringent. Let's see what it says. Just for the record, I think this entire box cost was $25. If I'm wrong, I will put it here, but I'm pretty certain it was $25. Dull skin? I don't know her. This gentle toner removes impurities and refreshes the skin with hyaluronic acid, witch hazel, and aloe. These skin-loving ingredients work well with your skin's pH to keep it balanced and healthy. The result is refreshed, soft, and balanced skin. Okay. And then after we tone, we would move on to our booster drops. And these are e.l.f. Hydrating Booster Drops. And it is 0.51 fluid ounces, so half an ounce. And this is $10, so let's see what this looks like. Oh, it's really thick. It's super thick, I think. Yeah. Yes, I felt like we need some sound effects there. Oh, it's very nice, very light, kind of watery. I like it. Don't think our floral scent is back. You know, I've had so much stuff on the back of my hand now. I'm kind of trying to give my hand the full treatment. I don't think this has that same floral scent. I'll look at the ingredients in a second and we'll see where the fragrance is. It feels really nice though. It absorbed super quickly. It just, it was like putting water on my skin and then rubbing it in to let it absorb. The box says this lightweight booster supercharges your routine to help create hydrated, plump looking skin. These concentrated drops can be used alone or added into any foundation, liquid, or cream. 
So I could have done this either before or after the moisturizer we have because you could just put this in your foundation. If you had like a matte foundation that you wanted to give a little boost, perfect. And it is enriched with vitamin E to nourish the skin. And no, this doesn't have any fragrance in it. Okay, last but not least, we have the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Face Cream. That is what the box looks like. Let's get it out of here. And this is a 1.8 ounce tub. That is what it looks like. These are all plastic, by the way. And when we get in it, it's just a white cream. Let's just take a little bit off the lid. And it's just a white cream. I'll put it on the back of my hand and we will complete our routine. Oh, it feels very nice, very hydrating. Our slight floral scent is back. Oh my goodness. You saw how much I had. I think you could have done your entire face with that. It has made, oh my goodness, guys, the back of my hand. And this is the hand I always say doesn't ever get enough attention. It got all the attention today and it is grateful. It looks so good. Sad hand, happy hand. Can you guys tell the difference? I don't know, I'll just hold them up here. This is the hand that got all the love. This is the one that we completely ignored. I mean, it looks amazing. Okay. And the back of the box says, all skin needs moisture. And this silky smooth cream maintains skin's moisture balance while protecting it with skin supporting peptides packed with beneficial ingredients like squalene, hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, and peptide complex. This nourishing cream quickly seeps into the skin for smooth, non-greasy moisture that leaves soft and supple skin. All right. It is absorbing. It has not absorbed yet. That matters less for me usually because I'm always putting on makeup, but I mean, my hand looks fantastic. Comparatively speaking, and I'm sure it's not translating in the whole realm of I will always give you my honest review, I will tell you sitting here right now, this hand looks like it just got the full treatment that it did and this one does not. It looks so good. Okay, so that is step one. Step two moving forward, I will try all of these products. We'll see how it does with my sensitive skin. And if by chance I have a problem with it, that still doesn't mean it's not a great product. It just means that my sensitive skin rejected something. I'm gonna try it all at once. And if I have a problem, I will start trying to work out what I think the problem is. Like first I would take away the toner since it has witch hazel, but I'm gonna try it all as a full routine because I wanna be able to tell you, and if I take this one at a time, it's going to take forever before I can get back to you. And then I will let you guys know how I feel about all of this. And I don't think I told you that the face cream is $12, $12. So you could get all of these products, a full face of skincare for $46. That is less than most of just the I love my Lala retro in the winter. It's $60. Granted, I get it on sale when Sephora has their fall sales, so I get it for 20% off, but it still makes it more than this. Even with 20% off, it's $48. And you can get this whole set for $46. All right, so now we go into the try-on phase. I will let you guys know how it works. I will be back to talk about it. I will probably just slip it into another video. I will also write about it in my community tab in case you happen to miss the video. All right, guys, thank you so much for coming by. This was a trend mood box. It was $25, I believe, with $46 worth of value. I will try it all. I will let you know. I hope you are having a great day. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll know when I have more videos coming out, and I will see you really soon. Bye, guys.